Okay, I'm going to show you proof that Jesus Christ is the body of the Godhead. For those of you who don't know, the Godhead is made up of body, soul, and spirit. Okay, I reject the pagan and occult trinity. The trinity comes from paganism, it comes from occultism, it comes from witchcraft. Okay, the trinity is not scriptural at all. Okay, the Godhead is basically, here's how, here's how it goes. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 says that man is made in the image and likeness of God. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23 says man has a body, soul, and spirit. Okay, well if man is made in the image and likeness of God, obviously God would have a body, soul, and a spirit. And here's how the Godhead works. Jesus Christ is the body, the Father is in him as the soul, and the Holy Ghost is in him as the spirit. Three and one. You can see First John 5, 7 on that. Not three persons that are all have the title of God, but somehow are not three gods. That's witchcraft. That's occultism. Okay? Comes from Satanism, that, that kind of belief system on the Godhead. That's why Colossians 2, 9 says that in him, Jesus Christ, dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Okay? Jesus Christ is the body of the Godhead. Okay? And in him at, is the Father as a soul, and the Holy Ghost as a spirit. So it's one God. Made up one person, okay, not three persons, made up of body, soul, and spirit. Now, obviously, the Godhead can separate, that is true, okay? It's not like the oneness, modalist thing where the Godhead does not separate. There is separation and distinction in the Godhead. That's what makes this distinct from oneness and modalism, too. Because people who believe in the biblical Godhead get accused of teaching oneness and modalism, which is not true, okay? Oneness and modalist heretics, they don't believe in distinction in the Godhead which is the biblical God that does teach distinction. You can see that at the baptism of Jesus in Matthew chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. There is a separation there, okay? However, it's one person, not three persons. That's where the Trinitarians go wrong in their occultic witchcraft uh, in its origins. Witchcraft, its origins of witchcraft, put it that way, a pagan occult trinity. No nice way to put it, okay? But Jesus Christ is the body of the Godhead. I'm going to show you scriptures on that, okay? Turn to Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 8. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Okay? Jesus Christ is the form of God, and he took upon himself the form of a servant. Okay? Again, in him, Jesus Christ, dwelleth all the forms of the Godhead bodily, Colossians 2.9. Okay? Jesus Christ is the image of God, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 4 to 6, Colossians 1, 13 to 15, and Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. Jesus Christ is the image of God. He's in the form of God. Okay? Some more scriptural on that is basically proving that he is the body of the Godhead. Because how can he be in the form of God? He's the body. Okay? That's why the fullness of the Godhead dwells in him bodily. John chapter 14, verses 7 to 9. Turn there. John chapter 14, verses 7 to 9. If ye had known me, you should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Uh, Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me, hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Okay? Seeing Jesus Christ is seeing the Father. Okay? Why? Because when you're looking at me, you're looking at my soul. Okay? I'm not my body, okay? You're looking at my body, but I'm also my soul too, okay? When you're looking at Jesus Christ, you're seeing the Father. Because why? The Father is in him as a soul. Okay? It's one person, one God, made up of a body, soul, and a spirit. That's simple. Okay? And what it comes down to is that the Trinitarians, the reason why I say, well, you're teaching oneness, you're a heretic, you're teaching, you know, modalism, because they're trying to, they, they think they can explain the mystery of godliness. Uh, 1 Timothy 3.16 says, great is the mystery of godliness. Okay? I don't understand how Jesus Christ can be both the Son of God and be God the Father in the sense that the Father is in him as a soul. But the Bible teaches that clearly that Jesus Christ is the body. He is the form of God. Okay? You're seeing him, you're seeing the Father, because the Father is in him as a soul. Again, you can read 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 4 to 6. It says the image and brightness, sorry, the image of his glory is in the face of Jesus Christ. Paraphrasing, of course. But the glory of God is in the face of Jesus Christ. Because you're looking at him, you're seeing the Father. Because the Father is in him as a soul. That's simple. And when you're saved, you're going to understand that. And 
again, it's not modalism oneness because there is separation in the Godhead. However, it's one person made up of a body, soul, and a spirit. The Father is the soul, the Holy Ghost is the spirit, and Jesus Christ is the body. That simple. That's the biblical God. That's what the Word of God teaches. Not this occultic, witchcraft, pagan trinity that has three gods that are somehow not three gods, but the three persons that all have the title of God. It's foolishness. Okay? It's heresy, too. So don't be deceived by the trinity and just read the Bible. Read what the Word of God says. Don't get sucked into man's traditions and man's philosophy. Like Colossians 2.8 says, you know, beware of lest anyone spoil you, spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. That's what the trinity is. It's philosophy and vain deceit. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.